Hi, everyone. It's Chris. I'm a content developer and project management specialist here at N2K Networks. I'm also your host for this week's edition of Surf Bite, where I share a practice question from our suite of industry-leading content and a study tip to help you achieve the professional certifications you need to fast-track your career growth. Today's question targets Microsoft's Azure Administrator Skills Measured Exam. Okay, George, did I say that right? Is it Azure, Azure? It could be either one. Who's, who are we to say? But I like to say it Azure. Azure. Okay. I have our resident Microsoft SME here, George, who's going to help us out today. We're going to turn the tables again, and George will be asking me this week's question. And I'm really nervous because this is not in my wheelhouse. You'll do fine. You always do. <laughs> Thank you, as always, for the vote of confidence. So, George, before you ask me the question, I understand you have a 10-second study bit for this exam. So what do you have for us? Well, as you know, Chris, Microsoft always updates their exams. And when you're studying for an exam, you may prep for that exam for, uh, I don't know, a couple of months, you know, three or four months. Right. But my tip would be to look at the Microsoft website for the study guide for this exam. So say, for instance, the AZ-104, look at the Microsoft study guide for the AZ-104 to see if they've added anything to the exam or subtracted something from the exam. Because you, if they added something, you certainly want to study that for the exam because the difference between failing and passing the test is one question. So make sure you know what's on the exam. That is an excellent tip. Okay, George, I'm ready for my question. I am taking a deep breath. Let's go. Okay, put your seatbelt on. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Here's the question. You need the ability to gauge Azure backup health, storage usage patterns, and backup restore trends within your production Azure subscription. It is important to use an open data model and leverage data visualization capabilities that can be shared among business owners. So, what feature will meet the reporting requirements for Azure Backup Services? There's only one answer to this, oh, and wow. the choices okay. are okay. A, Azure Monitor, B, Application Insights, C, Power BI, and D, Log Analytics. Oh, all right. Thank you for this, George. This is a tricky one, highly technical. So what feature will meet the reporting requirements for Azure Backup Services? Okay, can I ask you some questions first? Uh, you, can, you can ask me anything. It may help <laughs> okay. you. It may not, but you can ask me anything. <laughs> okay, so are all of your answer options part of the Azure subscription? In other words, there are no trick answers here? There are no trick answers. They are part of all the all the choices here are part of your Azure subscription. Okay, great. Now, can I also ask, do all of the choices mentioned offer some level of reporting and visualization capabilities? Is that fair to say? Uh, let's just say somewhat, but uh, one would be the uh, beaconing light when you think of reporting and visualization. Okay, and last question, backup reporting can also happen from the data or the application layer. Is that right? I don't know if that's going to help me or not, but I wanted to ask. It depends on what you're backing up, but the key thing, to, the key part of this question is what will meet the reporting requirements for Azure Backup Services? Okay, so I'm just going to take a wild guess and go with B, Application Insights? Uh, actually, the, 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 what I was trying to hit on was reporting requirements, and one thing they mentioned in the question was visualization. And that right. uh, the Power BI service is what, what Microsoft likes to use in Azure to have dashboards and reports. Mm. So... Log Analytics, Application Insights, and Azure Monitor can all give you uh, performance data, but Power BI really brings that data to life in dashboards. So what we're uh, looking for is visualization and reporting. So that's why we uh, went with Power BI there. Okay. Got it wrong, but I learned something today. So thank you so much, George. Are there any other Microsoft exam updates coming out soon that you'd like to promote here while I have you? Well, we're always uh, we're always updating our exams, and hopefully soon we have uh, already 
put out our fundamental exam for Microsoft's Azure Artificial Intelligence Service, and oh, we're great. working on one of the advanced exams. Excellent. That sounds exciting. Thank you so much. And thanks for your time again. And, and a great question, too. Thanks for having me. And thank you for joining me for this week's Cert Bite. If you're actively studying for this certification and have any questions about study tips or even future certification questions you'd like to see, please feel free to email me at certbyte at n2k.com. That's C-E-R-T-B-Y-T-E at n2k.com. If you'd like to learn more about N2K's practice tests, visit our website at n2k.com forward slash certify. For sources and citations for this question, please check out our show notes. Happy certifying.